All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's what, what's up, YouTube? All right, um, I'm very mad. Uh, I I recorded this entire video on a .mkv file, thinking you know it'll, it'll be great. I put it into Mo Windows Movie Maker because I don't want to edit it on YouTube Editor or something. And and then it turns out, oh, Windows Movie Maker is so old it can't run MKV files. So guess what? I'm running this on an .mp4. <sighs> the the sigh of the of the desolate. Anyways, today you probably didn't tell by thumbnail. We're going to be analyzing Cicada 3301. This video today will be relatively short, as I will only be going over the first few steps onto solving it. Uh, there is, uh, I will be covering more of it, but only if this video gets uh, positive feedback. Of course, I'm not going to do an entire series of stuff that no one wants to watch. Uh, that's why a lot of my videos stopped. Yeah. Yep. Anyways, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want more of this. So, a couple things you're going to need. You're going to need the original 3301 file. Also, outguess, and uh, I also have, uh, since I solved this beforehand, I even have um, some stuff here. Uh, stuff we're going to be using. So, uh, it, once you get the original file, um, I've had this a long time, so I don't actually remember what URL I used to find this, but it, once you get 3301, you open this with a uh, notepad, eh, full screen this. Go all the way to the bottom. I think we're already at the bottom, so if you just scroll all the way down, so you use the last few strings of text, clap this, this Caesar says, and then this. Now this obviously means put this into a Caesar cipher. Now the Caesar cipher is a standard cryptologist cipher developed by Julius Caesar. And uh, basically, it's the standard alphabet with the first four letters sent to the back of the alphabet. And, uh, you know, it just keeps on going. And by using this, we are able to easily decrypt this. Uh, one thing to note during this uh, cicada journey is that LXXT will always be HTTP on a web address. So if you search up... Uh, Hold on. If you search up LXXT, this will always be HTTP on a web address, and then of course this will always be here. Now, uh, if you're a seasoned veteran, you will all you can immediately tell that this uh, equal W and then this bracket blah, 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 is a signature for a .jpg or .jpg, meaning they're going to be looking at an image. Uh, you have to you can use a cipher that you find online, though. Um, uh, those are a bit, bit like shoddy, I guess. So I suggest using your own uh, brain to solve it. Um, so if we look here, the finished version of this part right here is um, this Imgur file. If you're smart, what you could do is uh, you have to open this on command prompt and. Uh, CD dot dot and then start this thing and it should take you to a web browser. Uh, and you'll get this image. Whoops, just decoys this way. Looks like you can't guess how to get the message out. And if you put this through Photoshop, you'll realize that out and guess have the same dynamic profile when put into text. So you're gonna have to use the out guess output profile. Now Outguess output profile goes a little bit like this. Do that. Uh, echo off and open guess. And then the name is so the uh, URL slash r and uh, slash. Uh, I think that was that. Slash r slash o. Think. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Outguess slash r that, and then output is text out dot gpg. Hold on, Oops, sorry about that. Uh, bit of an error. Where did I put my command prompt? Oh, yeah. 
to open that again. But anyways, uh, open guess. Once you have this, I mean, out guess, whatever. You're gonna have to do this first. CD slash CD that CD uh, wherever you put this. So of course mine will always be in users. The name of your user CD desktop. Since I put mine on desktop, God. CD desktop, and then after that CD desktop, you use CD3301, after CD3301, find the outguess file thing, open that thing, CD outguess.app, direct it, this is not CIR, damn it, DIR, then CD contents, after CD contents, CD, and I think after that, you have to, you have to put in a cipher, so, uh, be right back and uh, I'll fix this. Alright, so after putting in the cipher, we are prompted with this um, output profile, which gives us the start says page bin. Now, if uh, paste bin. Now, if you just press enter, it won't recognize output as a standard batch command. So, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to open this again and then edit output, take it out. And then you just have your standard start command and then the URL. Now all you have to do is press enter again, and it should prompt you with the next clue. Now uh, the video uh, will stop right here. Uh, there's going to be a subreddit that we're going to have to look at, which is going to have ciphers and stuff. And uh, you're probably not amazed. All of this stuff seems incredibly mundane and simple, especially like finding the ANSII encoding with Clavis Caesar. You're thinking like, oh, I could have done this years ago. Oh my god, but um, you know, if you want to see me solve the entire cicada puzzle, just um, drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, have a super cow fried as a sick XBL Day.